Well, every legend has its conclusion. Every all good things come to an end. And this broke a couple hours ago, but I was at work. David Blau is going to be the assistant QB coach with the Washington Commanders. And Steelers cornerback William Gay, former cornerback William Gay, is the assistant DB coach. Now, if you remember, we just lost one of our longtime guys in uh, that been with the Detroit Lions for quite some time. The man's name escapes me as of right now. Let me see if I still have it pulled up. I don't. But he went to Washington, just found that out yesterday, took a position with the Washington Commanders, and David Blau is no longer going to be an NFL quarterback. I have a real soft spot for David Blau. I remember when his rookie season in 2019, he comes up and he we play the Cleveland Browns. He was drafted by the Cleveland Browns. We played them in the last preseason game, something like that. He destroys us, rips us up. I mean, makes us look he he made we made him look like Tom Brady. We wind up trading for him in that in that season. And then in that season, Matthew Stafford goes down with a broken back. He had fragments in his back. And David, that was the beginning of our we started that season real strong. And then that was the beginning of our 13 game losing streak. And David Blau had, I think, one of his first passes in the NFL in a game was to Kenny Galladay, a 75 yard touchdown. And it got so bad that the Ford organization offered him an F 150 if he could get the Lions to, to win at least one game. But Needless to say, we didn't. We finished the season uh, three, twelve, and one, and then we wind up going into that twenty twenty season. COVID, blah blah blah, right? So then David Blau winds up the the stuff that happened to him. Wind up he missed out. We go back to to last year, so not twenty twenty three, but the twenty twenty two season. He's competing. We're on hard knocks, and we wind up playing the wave game with David Blau. Now David Blau was in there. Me and my son and his brother, we go to the preseason game. David Blau is in there. We we are going to win that game. He fumbles the, the game away. We lose. It was a preseason game. We wind up waving him. He decides, you know what? No, I'm not coming back. He signs with the Minnesota Vikings. He ends the season with the Arizona Cardinals. And then to start the season, he came back to the Detroit Lions. His career was never more than what it was. He was a third string quarterback at best never could reach the status of backup and you know like I said I got a soft spot for David Blau so I'm glad to see him somewhere but prior to Detroit says while his playing career is apparently over Blau just 28 years old finished with seven career starts completing 138 of 242 passes for 1,435 yards with six touchdowns and nine interceptions his last game played was in 2022 when he served as the starter for Cardinals start uh served as the Arizona Cardinals starter with a two game stretch and then he was he was brought in like I said he went to the Minnesota Vikings because he was felt I you know I thought I man I thought I switched the scene but he felt some type of way he felt some type of way put his body on the line, and we decide to waive him in favor of, I want to say it was might have been Nate Sutfeld, and he spent the most of, he spent all last season with the Minnesota Vikings, and then the Arizona Cardinals wind up coming back to the Detroit Lions. So I think David Blau, he realized that it was as good as he was going to get. Where he was at, he spent the entire time in street clothes here. He was pretty much, he, when he turned here, according to Pride of Detroit, he was the third string quarterback. Um, he was he was a valued mind and game planner for the Lions. So that's as good as David Blau's career was going to get. Now, me personally, if I'm David Blau, if I have the urge to continue to play, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the UFL. If I really wanted to play football. I would go to the UFL. Maybe he's done. Maybe he played enough. Maybe he got his fix. But I would have gone to the UFL. We've seen people, A.J. McCarron, and I, I want to say he was the guy. We've seen people. I remember, uh, I think it was A.J. McCarron. He said his son, he wind up, his sons wanted to see him play, and he was going to essentially be what David Blau was. So he went to the 
uh, USFL, I think he coached the or played for the Battle Hawks, and they wind up winning the title or something like that. So if he really had the itch to play football, I would go to the UFL. I would go and see if I can be drafted. He probably would be a first round pick in the USFL draft. I mean, it's that that is six weeks away, so he probably missed that opportunity by being in the actual NFL. But I'm not sure how that works. But David Blau, man. Uh, I'm I'm gonna miss him. I, I really am. I, he didn't really do anything for the team, but watching his journey, watching him carve us like I watched David Blau from the very beginning, from that preseason game to when we traded for him, and when Stafford went down, he tried to win a game. And I think he was, while he might not have the talent, he definitely was, in my opinion, the epitome of grit. And that's why I think we kept bringing him back, and that's why he was so hurt when we waved him and took a chance. Because when you wave somebody, you are taking a chance that they're picked up that they're not picked up by another team. He cleared waivers. He cleared waivers, but which is weird because the Minnesota Vikings wind up taking him. He wind up signing there, but they could have claimed him if they really wanted him. So, you know, he decided not to come back, but I guess he let bygones be bygones. Wanted to really come back to Detroit and he came back and it was good to see him out there cheering on Jared Goff. Uh, while the Lions were going on that run. Wouldn't that be something if David Blau would have, we would have won the Super Bowl and he could have got a ring. Uh, I don't know. I feel different about him than I do Isaiah Bugs. But anyway, Blau, I wish you the best, my man. And um, maybe we'll see you again in the, in the UFL if you decide to play. So let me know your thoughts, David Blau, man. That's crazy. The NFL really does stand for not for long. A rookie in 2019 and apparently no longer a player. He was kind of like Josh McCown. Like Josh McCown was... He's he's played for like 20 teams or something, and now he's in Carolina. Well, he was in Carolina. I don't know if he's still there after Frank Wright got fired. So let me know your thoughts. Put your bless your best Blau memory in the comment section below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. Best Blau memory in the comments below.